Hi, everyone. It's Paul Miller, Free Time, Free Spill, and it's a catch up to add on to the episode. And how you doing, Star? I'm great, Paul. How are you? Good. How was your day? How's everything going? Oh, it's been so good. It's beautiful here. It's, um, yeah, I'm, I feel so blessed today to just be abundantly working on things that I love in a beautiful place. How about you? Oh, every, everything's good. Like, uh, I'm, I'm taking a Reiki class. Wow, that's great. I love that. Tomorrow is my first uh, level one. Congratulations. What a treat. Oh, I love energy work. It is. It's delicious. It's just such a delight. Good for you. Yeah, I can't wait till I get the master uh, training. Yeah, it's going to be great. Good for you. I send you all lots of good energy for it to be a really positive experience. Thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. in, our, in our episode, we was talking about like organization skills and how like, uh, like how someone, like what they collect, it can reflect how they are, like it could say a lot about a person. I also wanted to add, like, uh, even though I, I was kind of like, almost like down talking, but like, I know mm -hmm. I was saying about, uh, like how my dad has like three barbecue pits and three lawnmowers, but he also has like plumbing tools. He's a plumber and uh, shovels, got like, like 20 shovels, but like, you know, I just, I wish like, cause everyone needs um, organization and that's, yeah. that's so important. It is. And I think it's, you know, it's interesting, you know, we look at it and we might think, oh, it's 20 shovels, but he knows what different activities those 20 shovels are for. And you can't use one shovel for picking up leaves, you know, the same one that you would use for digging a hole. And so, and different types of holes. So it's, you know, also, I think there's always such an invitation to get curious about what those shovels and there might be some duplicates in there, but it's it's really like such a beautiful testament to the complexities of people and how they find value in so much. So it's I, I love that you're seeing that and your dad. What a beautiful treat to for you to acknowledge him in that way. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, he crossed the fence today and uh like started digging a hole. Like it was already like a hole was already dug, like with some uh some people that was uh chopping down trees before and like he uh he he put like a um a pipe under it uh so the water can drain like when it floods in our yard like so it can drain into the river that's towards the back he helped he helped my neighbor do that wow he sounds like a really special guy your dad yeah he is yeah. so hmm. what else is uh what's else uh that's going on in the organization world Oh my goodness. So I am just starting a three week sabbatical to work on my next class and my book. So my class is the meaning of stuff. And the more I think about it, Paul, you know how, like, you just know, when you know you're on the right track, I can just feel this thing wanting to be born from me. It's like how you feel probably about your Reiki class where you just know it's the next step on your path. And I feel the same way. So I'm like through the to the moon and back excited for like a little bit of time to have a few weeks carved out to start really playing with this and getting to explore. And I think there's just something so helpful when we step away from how our life works regularly and just, I'm not leaving my house. I'm just shifting what I'm focusing on and how that opens up such beautiful doors for us to, you know, to increase our creativity. Yeah. I, yeah. So it's exciting to kind of, I just feel that energy at the door knocking and I get to like open it and let it go tomorrow. It's going to be great. Being able to manifest, turn your ideas into reality. Yes. Oh, so much. Yes. So what is, has it launched yet? Um, it's, it's going to start launching next month. So it's called the meaning of stuff and it's, and you can find it at meaning And it's, yeah, yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, but it's, it's funny because you know, I talk about the philosophies of it all the time, what your rooms mean, how, what they symbolize, what the objects symbolize and how you can decode that. But it's to be able to write it down so people can actually have a practical, you know, guide for this process is so important. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's lighting my fire. And the other thing I think that it's doing also is, is it's um, giving me an opportunity to reimagine how I take care of myself, because I do feel like, the way that we take care of ourselves does come out in the work we do, the quality of our interactions with people, our own happiness. And so also knowing that I can't just become a workaholic for the next three weeks, I also need to say, you know, I am going to show up for myself yeah. in the next few weeks and just really how can I feed my soul while creating soulful offerings for people who need them and, and allowing that to be a dance instead of like a task to complete. That's amazing. I like I, I was saging 
uh, and I used some Palo Santo the other day and I, I noticed that the space was cleansed and like I started doing things, I was moving around. And I, I also, I love organizing like, like, like I, I made up my bed and like, I, I still got clothes on the floor, but like, I gotta, I gotta get that together. But like, I noticed like the, the space is cleansed, like when you're moving and like organizing. Yeah. It's, you know, it's funny. The clothes is a big thing. Like notice that it's like the clothes are about our image and you're probably in this phase of deciding who you're going to be in this new, new chapter. So I feel like the clothes are a little bit of, so oftentimes for people, they're a little bit of like a, Hey, we're trying on these clothes, like this kind of like, Oh, I'm trying on this style of myself and this style of myself. And like, this doesn't work, but this does. And acknowledging that there's like a part of us that's exploring and it's I mean you say I've got these clothes on the floor and I light up with goosebumps because I know (laughs) you're you're stepping into your skin and like what a gift that is for the rest of the world for you to say like I'm finding me and then I'm going to shine that light and whoo watch out world you know it's like we need your light your light is so important so yeah I'm I'm excited I love it Yeah, organizing like I, I love like just clean cleaning the space and like I feel happy about it like how, where I'm at right now like like with my organization skills like I feel I feel good about like how everything is like everything is ordered like it's not like a room full of stuff like everything is good like my space is good. Yeah, that's great. That's beautiful. I'm so glad. Yeah, it's so good to catch up with you and hear how hear how you're doing and just find out that you you've been reflecting on these things and then also that you're taking such beautiful action in your own life towards, you know, creating creating the experience you want to share with everyone. You use sage too. Like I notice I feel balanced. I feel the balance like when I when I like sage. Do I have some here? Sometimes I do. It's funny. I had it. Oh, what I do. It's at the top. There's like, I always have, I have sage there. I've got an altar over here. So I have like this whole big altar set up um, where I have sage and Palo Santo and I have um, lemongrass and I have copal, which is one of my favorite scents. Like it's an incense, but it's, um, if it's from New Mexico, it's a, a sap from a tree and they turn it into an incense and it's just like, it smells so good. So yeah, before I meditate, I'm like saging myself and my altar and <laughs> yeah. like all the things. Um, it's great. such a good practice. Yeah. That's great. I remember like when we did our episode, like we was having a good time. I know it's yeah. It's so easy to talk to you and just kind of play. Yeah. It's really, you know what I've been playing with in my mind is wanting to play with more. I just went to Sedona last weekend and Sedona is just such a, a an incredible spiritual place. And my partner and I were walking around and exploring and we went into some of the gemstone shops and it just, how people can suss out the symbolic nature of stones is incredible. And it made me really feel inspired to start using more stones. Like I do have gemstones all over, right? You see them back here and yeah. up there and you know, like they're all over, but mindfully, these are ones that I just felt drawn to, but mindfully say, oh, I'm working on this project. So I want to have these stones with me and really start to use them almost like medicine, have the energy of the stones around me, like medicine, I think is something that just sounds and feels really exciting to me right now. Yeah. Something about those stones and the crystals, like it can cleanse your aura or it cleanse you. Absolutely. It'll suck all the, like the, the darkness and the the negativity out of person, like just having a stone or a crystal. Yeah. Or sometimes it ignites something else, right? Like I have this, this little stone with me too at my desk. Like I just, I love to have, you know, it's like, sometimes they help you with radiation. Sometimes they help bring, you know, like connection with your ancestors. And sometimes they, they pull negative energy or toxins, but you know, other times they just, they help um, dissipate trauma and re- i mean it's beautiful because there is a different energy for every stone and then you've got the idea too that this stone has had its own life experience and so it brings with its own special energy into my house and we have a relationship together so it's really i don't know i think it's really cool when you start playing with gemstones or you know essential oils or any of these things that that really help us to take our awareness and our intuition to the next level that's amazing yeah so anything you want to, uh, to share or like before we, uh, before we go, I know that like I was watching the news, like it was some crazy stuff, like with the spy stuff, those shootings, like. Oh, I know it's heartbreaking. I went to school for massage therapy and like, that, I thought that was just crazy what happened. I, I agree. It's really, I mean, I just, 
I'm shocked and yet I'm not shocked because it is the world we live in at how much intolerance there is and how I just don't understand how people can be so hurt that they think that they would feel better if they hurt someone else. I just don't, I, I don't under, I understand that it exists. I just don't understand. I just don't understand how it can perpetuate, you know, and I want, I want so much to just like love everyone I come into contact with. So hopefully they don't ever feel that kind of rage inside of them. You know, it's like, how do we just love each other so that yeah. that's not a solution. It just, cause hurting another person. I mean, it's, I don't know. I want to lift everybody up around me. I, there's yeah. enough space for all of us. Um, yeah, I know. I felt the same. That's it's like, literally, I just feel like now my eyes are open in a little bit different way and how terrifying it must be for a lot of people going to work today, feeling like, am I safe? Is there going to be more backlash? And, um, and how heartbreaking it is that a lot of people don't feel safe on a regular basis, just living their life and how that's not okay. That, that shouldn't be anyone's experience at all. Yeah. He had a lot of hate built inside to release all that, like in the, in the wrong way. Like there's better ways to release your energy. Like you can write a book or something. Yeah. Well, and it's in, you know, it's, I think that's one of the gifts that we get to do as light workers is we get to help people who are, who are in pain, try to find solutions that aren't that, you know, hurt people cause hurt. Right. So like if we can help, if we can do our, our practices of, of expanding love and positive energy, hopefully we can, you know, give additional tools that stop people from needing to take that drastic action and, you know, get support in a healthier way without injuring anyone else or creating someone else's life to be torturous. Yeah. We need people on the, on the, uh, doing the grassroots work, like, yeah. like big time, like absolutely a, a global movement or something like just some changes, even in the yeah. laws. Absolutely. Oh, hugely in the laws. I mean, the systems, the system is legit broken. It's like, I mean, it's, it's disgusting to me. And it's very, I have to say, it's like, as a, as a white woman, I didn't realize how broken the system was until way too recently, like until the last few years. And I still can't quite wrap my brain around it. And it's weird. Cause it's like, I'm aware that I can feel the system trying to rock me back to sleep. Oh no, no, come back, fall asleep again. Come, you're fine here. I can feel it wanting to rock me to sleep. And it takes so much to stay awake and just be like, no, I, I can't, I won't. And and, you know, it's just, it's, it's just mind blowing. Cause I just think that it doesn't, I don't know. There's enough, there's enough, there's enough love in the world. There's enough resources. We're all, when, when everybody is shining, we're all better. Like that is not the way it has to be. And it's insane that it's lasted as long as it has. So yeah, I, I agree. It's like the systems need changing and the mindsets need changing. And how do we contribute towards in, impacting that shift s s now? Like, how do we get it? shifting yesterday you know i had a i had a wake-up experience like it was a dream that i had and like it just woke me up it was almost like the movie get out when that when that dude said get out <laughs> that movie i had to watch it with the sound off it scared me so bad i was like oh god <laughs> it was such a good movie though yeah but i'll be having dreams they like they're detailed and like it just it wakes me up like i get the information i need from the universe and i wake up it's, it's almost like like trying uh visionary medicines and then you, you wake up, you take it and then you use it for a little while. And then you use it in moderation. Then, then you don't need it no more. Like yeah. you put the phone down on that. Yeah. Yeah. That's, you have a lot of gifts, Paul. I'm excited to see you, you know, going and exploring the more it's, it's, a, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful to witness. Thank you for sharing that with me. And your book, like how much does it cost? Oh, it's not out yet. So I'm still working on it. Oh, so okay. it's going to be similar to the it's I mean, I'm not sure, but I'm hoping it's I don't know. I'm just so excited. It's, like it's still in development. You do. Oh, this is going to be fun. I'm really excited about it. I just like it's the same thing where I'll be sitting here just, you know, going about my day and I can feel this insight for the book come through. And I just like, you know, it's yeah, I just I'm so excited about it. So hopefully, hopefully it'll be out soon. I'm I'm jumping in the next few weeks, just feeling feeling it out and, it, and allowing it to come through because it's been coming through for a few years. But now I can feel it's getting impatient and it wants to be done. It's going to so, come to fruition. Yeah, thank you. Thank just, you. Sometimes you just got to uh, set the intention, like even like when you're making songs or like doing anything, just set the intention, like pray before or just connect with source and yeah. You set your hopes like what you hope for this book or what what you hope the outcome be and yeah. just set the intention and then it should be in a positive light like 
and trust divine timing, right? I mean, I think I, I think I was impatient three years ago. I was like, oh, I could feel it. It was time. But the truth is the world is so different today than it was three years ago. And so the book that I would have finished three years ago is very different than the book that I feel today. And the one today is much more necessary than the one from three years ago. Three years ago was a lot. Um, it just was different. And so I'm, I'm grateful that I felt called to hold back because I think that it's coming at the right time and yeah. will align for the people who need it. You know, it's, that's all that matters is that it meets, it doesn't have to, doesn't have to feed the whole world. It just needs to feed the people who are hungry for it. So yeah, just allowing it to come out. And you're more evolved now. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so, Paul. For three years ago. It's a journey, it's not linear. Yeah, totally, <laughs> <laughs> totally. Awesome. Well, it's so great to talk to you. Thanks so much for, for including me today and reaching out. Thank you, thank you so much. Mm. I'll, I'll reach out to you though. Okay, please do. Yeah, it's always great to hear from you. All right, I'll send the record. Right. Awesome.